начинается! Hey, what's going on, guys? Donald here, and today I'm playing uh, World of Warships. Well, I was playing World of Warships. This is just a user replay. Um, this is the Shores Russian Tier 7 Battleship. I know I've already made a video on this, but this is in the new update 0.6.0. .0. It would ignore the little thing flipping all over the place on the side, in the, or in the middle, the thing going up and down. So, um, this ship kind of gets a bad rep that I feel because of how squishy it is, how little armor it is. It can be easily, like, citadeled from the front by, like, any battleship, but in turn it has good guns or good reload. And I have uh, on this ship, right? I do not have banks on Captain by plan. Let's see, I have uh, priority target because you gotta have priority target in the cruiser. You should know, know what's shooting at you, what isn't shooting at you. Um, so I have priority target, I have expert marksmen to make my guns turn faster. I have demolition expert for a higher fire chance. And I have Concealment Expert for better stealth. After that, I plan on getting a Adrenaline Rush. Which I might feature if I do my Beauty Yanni again. It has Adrenaline Rush on its cap. And then I'll get IFHE, or what I call a Armor Piercing High Explosive Shells. So that... Like plus 30% chance that you will penetrate the target. And, um, you know, this only increases the chance, or decreases the chance that there's fire, but. Oh, jeez, he just took a ton of damage. And as you can see, if you notice next to the detected sign, it said it had a little wall on the top of the enemies are shooting at me at one time. So in this ship, of course, I play quite passively because I don't have. Um, All stations, concentrate for, fire I need to start equipping um, hydroacoustic surge instead of defensive fire aid because nobody plays aircraft carriers. Because uh, if you watched Aaron's video, he talks about how bad the economy is. The aircraft carriers are like one of those things where it takes practice, so... As I like, just shell this shark most Increased, um, I don't know what's going on. HE chance. What I'm trying to do here is mainly just uh, set fires. Like, oh, I got two. I got lucky there. So now that damage is going to start ticking away. 500 damage per second. Because those are two fires. Looking for three, like one of the abs. Now, in my opinion, the Sharn Horse isn't really a battleship, it's just a big, it's just a big cruiser, kind of like the Moscow Tier 10. I mean, I'm sure it has battleship on it, but it has cruiser guns. So, again, you can fire. It works really well with, like, the Joyland Rush. Or in Flanders' case, adrenaline range. 
because of what it does to your ship when you have low HP. So now here I just gotta play the patient game. Which is kinda what I do with the ship. I kinda I like to uh be patient. I'm backing up now because well, well I was backing up because I, I thought he might come around the corner, but Now a lot of people say that the, the, the Mikhail Kuta song is better than the Mediani, which is the ship after this one. But in my opinion, on what they, how they, um, what they give to their team is equal, because of course you know the Mikhail Kuta song has like really good rate of fire, has really good range, has a smoke screen, but at the same time the um, the Budiani has uh, better stealth, uh, also has really good anti-air, and has radar to bring to the table. And radar is really good for pushing in the cap zone because radar and uh, the enemy destroyer in the smoke stream, he's going to be detecting them out of the all those shells are breaking and doing no damage, which is why I'm going to get IFHE, because they'll have a higher chance of penetrating and doing damage, but they have, again, lower fire chance, but doesn't really matter, because the fire chance is still pretty good. And with this good reload, and these good guns, and I'm going to, you know, me having a, going to have a drill and rush, that would really help me. A lot of people like the shorts is a great fire starter. Like you can have like a 16 with max up cap and like I do. I have like a 15.5 percent chance to cause fires, which is really high. Everybody loves their race. Start toasting. Yeah, he's burning. low caliber guns so it did no damage. Rip. But we got more fire ships. And I think that one's gonna stick. This one's gonna stick.
So, um, if any of you, you logged on the World of Warships lately, have you got the uh, For the Wind flags? Basically, looks like Clemson colors. I haven't used it yet, I'm just gonna kinda wait and use it until some other time. So right now I'm gonna look for citadels on this uh, Alba. So let's see in places that I can show you the whole broadside of this. I mean this is Russian armor piercing, so by the uh, Colorado. So I'm focusing att my attention now to uh, uh, the Amagi. My guess is it would be by that shores. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm just gonna go for the cap and force their hand. This is one of the situations, yeah, I see the gunfire cover here, I'm just like, uh... I know there's gotta be something over there. Well, I think we might just end up capping out. Unless... That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, now he's gonna reset the cap. Uh, no. Right. Oh, here comes the next helmet. Oh, no. Oh, yep, there goes. Resets the cap. So, now we gotta take out this, uh, dum dum here. showing broadside and they have a pretty suspicious hit in And, wow. RNG. There we go. 
So now I gotta get away from this new Mexico and then I have to engage this stupid Amagi. Wither battle hero and arsonist. Наша команда получила преимущество. Now we're just going to cap out. I can do this. Now we're going to reset his cap. <laughs> because firing damage. Reset the cap. Now there's like no way to get the cap. Especially after this volley. When we slow him down, yeah, I might not get Gonna dodge him. But that is game. Okay, so let's look at the results. So this is what I got. I got 99k damage, 202,000 credits, 4,000 experience, and 612 free XP with 150 shell hits, 2 destroys, 14 fires, like 1, whatever. And then I got Wither, which is might not have seen this on my channel, it's caused at least 660,000 HP of fire and flooding. I can't remember what battle heal is, but Arsonist, do you know what that is? Um, this is my place. I got second place. Our Cleveland did really well with uh, destroying, getting Kraken unleashed, and shooting down some of the enemy planes. That's why he was on such low health. And this is the battle results. I did 54,000 damage to the enemy Amagi. So that is half its health. And so, and two thirds of that damage I did was from fires. 61k damage from fires out of the 99k damage. So yeah. It was a very good game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, please leave a like. Leave a comment below. Or tell me what type of ship you would like to see next. Like, really? I, nobody requests anything. So I just go and end up doing whatever. Um, oh, and subscribe. <laughs> you can't forget to subscribe because subscribing really helps me. Uh, you get feedback, you can click the little bell to get um, stuff, and you can comment below, and I'll probably comment back and stuff like that. But uh, please, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.